Did you know there's a type of fat in your body that could be secretly affecting your health? And no, it's not just about looking slimmer. In today's video, we're diving into something that's a lot more important than just an ordinary weight loss topic. I'm talking about visceral belly fat, the kind that wraps around your organs and can have a big impact on your health. But getting rid of it might be different than you think. So, if you're ready to uncover some surprising truths and learn about methods that could change your life, stay tuned. Trust me, you'll want to stick around until the very end for every bit of crucial info I'm about to share. Now, let's dive a little deeper. What exactly is visceral fat, and why should you be more concerned about it than other types of fat? Visceral fat is not the fat you can pinch. It's hidden deep within your abdomen, surrounding your vital organs. And this is where it gets serious. Unlike the fat under your skin, known as subcutaneous fat, Visceral fat plays a unique and potentially risky role in your body. It releases chemicals and hormones that can influence your insulin sensitivity, cholesterol levels, and even your blood pressure. This means it's linked to conditions like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and more. But how does this fat accumulate, and why is it so hard to lose? It boils down to a combination of factors, diet, lifestyle, genetics, and even stress levels. The good news is, that with the right strategies, you can effectively target and reduce visceral fat. Ready to find out how? Let's get into the first strategy that science shows can make a real difference. When it comes to melting away visceral fat, your diet plays a starring role. But it's not just about cutting calories. It's about choosing the right kinds of foods that specifically target this stubborn fat. Let's break down the science-backed dietary changes you can make. Fiber-rich foods. Start by ramping up your intake of fiber. Foods like oats, beans, berries, and vegetables not only keep you full, but also help regulate your body's use of sugars, keeping your hunger and blood sugar in check. Fiber-rich foods have a direct impact on reducing visceral fat, as they help balance gut bacteria and reduce inflammation. Protein intake. Incorporating lean protein into your diet is another effective strategy. Protein-rich foods like chicken, fish, tofu, and legumes can boost your metabolism, helping your body to burn more fat. They also aid in muscle building, which in turn helps burn more calories, even at rest. Healthy fats. Don't shy away from healthy fats. Foods high in unsaturated fats, such as avocados, nuts, and olive oil, can help lower bad cholesterol levels and reduce the accumulation of visceral fat. These fats are essential for balancing hormones and providing a sense of fullness, reducing the likelihood of overeating, cutting down sugars and refined cobs. Reducing your intake of sugars and refined cobs is crucial. These foods cause spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels, leading to fat storage, especially around your belly. Opt for whole grains and natural sweeteners, and be mindful of hidden sugars in processed foods. Implementing these dietary changes can significantly impact your visceral fat levels. Alongside dietary changes, exercise plays a pivotal role in reducing visceral fat. But not all exercises are created equal when it comes to targeting this stubborn fat. Let's explore the types of physical activities that science suggests are most effective. High Intensity Interval Training or HIIT HIIT involves short bursts of intense exercise followed by brief recovery periods. This type of training is incredibly effective at burning visceral fat because it boosts your metabolism and keeps it elevated for hours after your workout. Exercises like sprinting, jumping jacks, or burpees in a Hyatt format can significantly torch visceral fat. Strength training. Building muscle is key in the fight against visceral fat. Muscle tissue burns more calories than fat tissue, even when you're at rest. Incorporating strength training exercises, like weightlifting or body weight exercises, helps increase muscle mass and reduces fat accumulation around the organs. Core strengthening. Exercises that strengthen your core, such as planks, crunches, and yoga, are particularly effective at targeting the abdominal area. While they might not directly burn visceral fat, they help tone your abdominal muscles and improve your posture, contributing to a slimmer appearance. Consistent cardio. Regular cardiovascular exercises, such as brisk walking, running, or cycling, are essential for overall fat reduction, including visceral fat. Consistent moderate intensity cardio helps improve heart health and burn calories, aiding in fat loss over time. Flexibility and stress reduction. 
Practices like yoga and Pilates not only improve flexibility, but also help reduce stress. Since stress can contribute to fat accumulation, particularly in the belly area, incorporating stress-reducing exercises can be beneficial. Incorporating these exercises into your weekly routine can dramatically impact your visceral fat levels. Another vital aspect in the battle against visceral fat, and many times underestimated, is the management of sleep and stress. When we get into sleep, our bodies go into repair mode. This is when the magic happens, hormones balance out, cells regenerate, and our bodies recover from the day's stresses. But when we skimp on sleep, this delicate balance is thrown off. Our metabolism slows down, and stress hormones, particularly cortisol, start to rise. This hormone cocktail signals our body to store fat, often leading to that unwanted padding around our midsection. So, getting those seven to eight hours of quality sleep isn't just about feeling refreshed. It's a critical time for our bodies to regulate weight and health. Stress is another key player in visceral fat accumulation. It's like an unwelcome guest that overstays its welcome, wreaking havoc in our lives. Chronic stress leads to elevated cortisol levels, which, as we've learned, is closely linked to increased belly fat. But the story doesn't end there. This heightened stress often triggers cravings for sugary, fatty foods, the kinds that further contribute to visceral fat. It's a vicious cycle. Stress leads to unhealthy eating, which leads to more fat storage, which in turn can lead to more stress. But breaking this cycle is possible. Think about activities that bring you peace. Maybe it's yoga, which not only calms the mind, but also strengthens the body. Perhaps it's meditation, deep breathing exercises, or just a simple walk in nature. These practices not only help manage stress, but also improve sleep quality, creating a positive cycle that supports your body's natural fat-burning abilities. Let's shift our focus to something as simple as drinking water, yet profoundly impactful in the battle against belly fat. You might be surprised to learn that staying well hydrated is one of your best weapons in melting away that visceral fat. Water is much more than just a thirst quencher, it's a key player in your body's metabolic processes. Drinking enough water boosts your metabolism, helping your body to burn fat more efficiently. It's like adding fuel to your body's fat-burning furnace. When you're well hydrated, your body can more effectively break down fatty acids and use them as energy. Plus, drinking water before meals can make you feel fuller, reducing the likelihood of overeating. But the story doesn't end with water. There are natural metabolic boosters that you can include in your diet to rev up your fat-burning engine. Think of foods and drinks like green tea, coffee, and spices like cayenne pepper. Green tea, for instance, contains compounds like catechins that can boost your metabolism and increase fat burning, especially around your midsection. It's not about going overboard with these boosters, but incorporating them mindfully into your diet. A cup of green tea in the morning, a sprinkle of cayenne pepper in your soup, or a moderate amount of coffee can complement your other fat reduction strategies. Now, I have some bonus tips for you. These are additional strategies that can speed up the process of losing visceral belly fat, tips that you can easily integrate into your daily routine for faster results. Mindful eating. Start by practicing mindful eating. This means paying full attention to your food, its taste, texture, and how it makes you feel. Eating mindfully helps prevent overeating and makes you more aware of your body's hunger and fullness signals. It's about enjoying every bite and understanding your body's needs. Intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting has gained popularity and for a good reason. It's not just a diet trend, but a lifestyle change that has shown promising results in reducing visceral fat. By cycling between periods of eating and fasting, you can improve your body's ability to use fat as energy. Remember, if you're considering this, it's important to do it in a way that fits your lifestyle and health needs. Probiotics and gut health. Don't underestimate the power of a healthy gut. Probiotics, found in foods like yogurt, kefir, and fermented vegetables, can improve your gut health, which in turn can help with weight management and fat reduction. A healthy gut is a key player in your overall health and can impact the way your body stores fat. Consistency over intensity. Instead of going for extreme diets or workout regimes, focus on consistency. Small, sustainable changes are more effective in the long term 
and drastic measures that you can't maintain. Regular, moderate exercise and a balanced diet are more beneficial than a short burst of extreme effort. These are additional strategies that can speed up the process of losing visceral belly fat, tips that you can easily integrate into your daily routine for faster results. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Which of these strategies resonated with you the most? Are there any tips you're excited to try out or any you've already had success with? Drop a comment below and share your thoughts or experiences. Let's create a community where we can learn from each other and grow together. And if you're looking for more ways to enhance your health, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more insightful content on the way and you won't want to miss it. Plus, sharing this video with friends and family can help spread the knowledge and possibly aid someone else in their health journey. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.